Hi, welcome back to Everyday Our Race. Today, I wanted to share with you something pretty weird that I've discovered about my 95 Ford Ranger. So what happened is, I've decided to pull my gauge cluster to replace it with one that has a tack on it. This one came out of a uh, 96 Ford Ranger. So what I did is, I pulled it out, unplugged it from the back. It has three plugs and left it on my seat, just like this one. And then I went to salvage yard and I tried to find correct gauge cluster. And it took me five, six days to find the one that I wanted. But in the meantime, I had to move my truck. So what I did is I started it, I let it run, and all of a sudden, within like 10 minutes, the truck died and the battery was dead. So I was like, well, I guess I got a bad alternator. But something told me to put the gauge cluster back in. And... Uh, I charged the battery, put the gauge cluster back in, and I checked the voltage, and the alternator was magically working. That was the strangest thing. So I'm going to show you exactly what's going on. So I'm going to use my Bluetooth, connect to the OBD2 port right down here. My truck is all apart. Next, I've got the Torque app. And I've pulled, let's see, I know i got a screen that shows the voltage. There we go. Volts AD. So let me turn the ignition on. And we're going to see, it's going to connect. Alright, we got 11.1 .1 volts. So let me go ahead and start it. All right, so the voltmeter gauge is showing that the alternator is charging. There are no uh, battery lights or warning lights. And it's showing 13 point between 13.1 and 13.4 volts, which is perfectly fine. It's showing a little bit lower because this screen is showing volts at the adapter. So there's a little bit of uh, voltage drop over there. So let me show you what happens if I unplug the center plug from this ignition uh, from this uh, gauge cluster and we'll see exactly what happens to the volt gauge that's on my phone so let's go ahead and do that I'm gonna try to do it with one hand but it might not work out so I might have to put the camera down so let me go ahead and do that I'm gonna straighten out the wheel I'm just gonna put the camera right right on the steering wheel Ooh, chicken and then I got the plug I've got the phone let me go ahead and unplug it So I got it unplugged and look, the alternator magically stopped working. It's at 10.6, between 10.6 and uh, 11 volts. So let me go ahead and plug it back in. I'm back to charging. Boom. That's the weirdest thing I've found on this truck so far. So. So your gauge cluster could actually go bad and your truck would stop charging 
your alternator would stop charging so a normal person would go and replace the alternator put a new one on and then find out that that one's not working so I could see how that could be a headache so if you got a Ford Ranger and you've got charging issues and you've replaced the alternator you could have a gauge cluster issue somehow somewhere but this gauge cluster has to be plugged in and in good working order for the uh, for your charging system to work correctly so all right that was get on my nerves but look at that everything's working yeah all right so uh thanks for watching and uh, if you got any charging issues i highly recommend checking your gauge cluster or replacing it with another one so thanks again